What's going on, y'all? Another episode of um Candy's Wedding, Blessings to Dressings, episode two. And this going to be to the point. Look, we already know. First of all, it's 28 days to the wedding when we first get on here. They still trying to wedding plan and all that shit. You know, um, Candy still in her feelings about the conversation with Carmen. So Carmen ain't show up to their little meeting to talk about the wedding. So they putting all the stuff on Johnny, which Johnny actually coming through. He didn't secure animals and all that shit. But here's the thing. They don't even got the venue as to where they going to get married at. They don't even have the dancers and all this stuff. Because Candy's so bent on having this coming to America theme wedding and, you know, all that shit. So next thing you know, they go audition some dancers and all that shit. That was cute for what it was. But then it's 23 days later. Well, 23 days towards the wedding and they still ain't got no venue. They looking at this venue that's in the hood, basically. I don't know where it was. It, it did look like it was in the hood. And even Don Juan was like, you're going to have something in this shit. Like, I know about being what you're going to call it. Not necessarily cheap, but frugal. But goddamn candy. <laughs> don't do shit. See, this is what happened when you do shit at the last minute. It's like, come on, you could have did this, been serious about this shit, and uh, had this shit already done. But... When you got to go into an establishment and do all this extra work to it just to make it presentable, <sighs> come on now. But, I mean, it's your wedding. You do what you want to do. Candy has to sit down with her father because she wants to ask him to officiate her wedding. And I didn't know he was a preacher or whatever, so, hey, it is what it is. And, basically, he, they somehow got into a conversation because in her confession... Uh, Candy was basically saying how he really wasn't there for her and they didn't have the best relationship. But now, you know, he's been kind of coming around through the past years or whatever and their relationship been getting better and they've been talking more or whatever. And basically, he was sitting there and was telling like, you know, when I was with your mama in the beginning, it was good. It was good until, you know, her sisters and stuff would come over and it was things that they were doing in the house that I didn't like, you know, like smoking and drinking. And then at one point, um, a restraining order was put out on him to keep him from seeing candy and all that stuff. And, you know, candy sitting there looking like, mm, I don't believe him. I don't believe him. And I'm sitting here like, of course you wouldn't believe him, but look at the past history of your mother. I, Look, I would not be surprised if Mama Joyce did that shit just because. Okay, she probably had a reason to feel upset because she claims that he was cheating on her. I I, I don't put that past him. He probably was because the man, be, he been married multiple times. Okay, he probably was cheating, was a dog, whatever. But to put a restraining order on somebody, it seems like Mama Joyce is telling half truths. The daddy could have been telling half truths. And all this stuff, it was, especially when Candy confronted her mama and told her mama about all this stuff, she was like, do he got all's timers, okay? All's, A-L-L-S, timers, T-I-M-E-R-S, okay? And I was like, hmm, who knows? Of course she gonna deny it. Who gonna really say that, yeah, you know, I was being a bitch, I put that restraining order on him because I ain't want you seeing him because he was he fucked me over. So, therefore, you ain't coming over here to see your kid. And I want your kid to hate you for the rest of your life. Ain't nobody going to say that shit. I really do feel like Mama Joyce was leaving out some parts of her story just because Mama Joyce is very bitter in nature. And it just seems like she's been that way. I honestly, you know, her son passed away. And I honestly think that that really do have a, a, a impact on her, you know, as as. As to the way that, the reason why she acts the way that she do, you know, and it's just, it's just, I don't know, it's something because it's like she trying, that's probably why she trying to hold on so tight to Candy because this fear of losing another child and technically she's not losing another child. Technically you're gaining a son-in-law and you still got your daughter, she just, you know, ain't nothing going to change. She just got her man. They already live together, so what's the difference, you know? She just need to loosen that grip and live her life and let Candy live hers. When they was at that bridal shop, they was throwing all that shade at Carmen. Basically, Mama Joyce was like, you know, I always liked Tan. She was like a daughter to me. But Carmen, 
she just seemed like a sneaky little person. And I was like, girl, you know she wanted to call her a sneaky little bitch. Okay, we ain't stupid. But um, she wanted talking about she wanted to wear black. She was like, why would I, why why would I want to wear this stuff when it feel like I'm going to a funeral? And I'm sitting there like, damn, you that upset that your um daughter is marrying this man? She just don't want to see her happiness. And it's just, it's ridiculous. Like, I have never seen a mother on reality TV as vile, as evil, as disgusting as Mama Joyce. And I never thought I would have to say this about her. Because when she first came on the show on Real Housewives of Atlanta, I was very much here for her. But now she's showing her ways. And I'm like, girl, you just doing too much for no reason, okay? Let your daughter be a grown-ass woman that she is. And Candy is allowing this shit because she just sits there and take it. And it's, it goes to show that this been the history. Like, she... It's obvious that Candy ain't never really spoke up. You you, you, you can't tell me she didn't really speak up. Because if she did when she was younger and, and, and just said some stuff or whatever, not disrespectful like, but just speak up, this shit wouldn't be happening, okay? The relationship would be different. You know, Mama Joy is just a hard person to... Ugh, I can't stomach her because that shit that she did with Ty, first of all, Ty meeting with Apollo, well, first, Candy telling Ty, I don't understand why she felt the need to tell him this at this particular time. I probably would. Would you have told your spouse or your soon-to-be uh, spouse if your parent or whoever was saying something negative to you about you right before the wedding or whatever? Even though y'all already got issues, that's like, to me, putting on more stress and got to think about more stuff. Even though I already know this person don't like me and don't fuck with me. And you're going to tell him that. And that's basically what she did. She told him about the fact that Mama Joy said that his daddy was a pimp. And she was like, how the fuck? Well, he said, how the fuck do he, she know that he was a pimp when my daddy died when I was three years old? I didn't know him. So how the hell can he pass on his knowledge of the pimp game if that's what you claim he was or a hustle game to me when I didn't even know the man and then you know saying that me and my mother trying to hustle you out some money and shit like that and Candy lied cause can't uh uh what's his name Ty was like so what you trying to say did she say my mama was a hoe Candy didn't say that she shown up left that part out but that's exactly what Mama Joy said he know the game he know know how um Mama Joyce worked and you know he was over it. And he was talking to Apollo when they was working out. Shit, Apollo about to go to jail in a month or so. And he was like, I don't know how to deal with this situation. They talking about prenups and Apollo talking about something. Yeah, he, as soon as he got out of jail, they got married. He didn't even look at the prenup. He just signed it. He was like, I didn't want nothing from her. But, you know, it is what it is. Ty main issue is he don't want nothing from Candy. He just wants, if you're going to get a prenup, I just want the lawyers to look at it so that we both can benefit from it. I don't see nothing wrong with that. But, um, the ending of this episode, the last fucking thing that I want to talk about, which was the ending, Mama Joyce comes over to the house, and they're talking. She actually gave Ty a hug. And next thing you know, they was talking about the wedding and when it's going to be, where it's going to be. And Ty brings up the issue that the fact that Mama Joyce said that his daddy was a pimp and was like, how do you know this? My daddy died when I was three years old, so how? And she was like, well, I'm sorry to say that. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm sorry you feel that way. But you know, the shit can just run through jeans and pass on and pass on. I was like, damn, she was not sorry for shit. And she just kept driving it home and being so damn been... It was... I was like, damn, can you at least apologize and just let that shit go? She had no mercy, and it was just like, she just didn't give a fuck. That whole conversation just totally disgusted the hell out of me. I was like, if somebody was to tell, if he was to say that shit, if Candy's mama, not Candy's mama, Ty mama would have said that shit about you to Candy, how would you feel? You want, you would feel... Just like Ty felt. Candy would feel exactly how Ty felt. And at one point, you know, Ty had got pissed off at Candy and was like, I'm tired of this shit. And not necessarily got pissed off at her, but got pissed off at the situation about how Mama Joyce is. He was like, I'm tired of this shit. And he was kind of going off. And Candy was like, you know, he ain't going to be talking about my mama like this, you know, and all this shit. And I'm like, after all the disrespectful shit that your mama didn't say to him, 
he has a fucking right to feel and say the things that he said about her. Because all we see is him being respectful to her. And on the sideline, we see her throwing shots at him for no damn reason. She don't even know this man, if you ask me. And she just don't like him just because she don't like him. There is no real reason why she don't like this man. And that whole conversation, it was just uh. And then Candy was just sitting there. Candy was just fucking sitting there like, girl, control your mama. And Mama Joy said, you can control her, but you can't control me. I was like, because I'm going to say what I want to say, and I'm going to do what I want to do. I said, it's obvious, because your daughter sure ain't saying shit. That don't make no sense. I would not sit there. I don't give a fuck if you're my mother, if you're my father, if you're my sister, whoever the fuck it is. You're not going to sit here in my presence and berate my spouse or my soon-to-be spouse. It don't work that way. You know, respect is given when it's fucking earned. Bitch, you just lost all respect. But that was basically the episode. Y'all tell me how y'all feel about it. And I'll see y'all in the next review.